Hello guys and welcome back to our Mastodon tutorials and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best Valorant console settings so you can improve your performance and you can just overall be a better player. So let's get started. So the first thing you guys can do is go to settings. You're going to go, oops, you're going to go to general or it's going to start you off with general. And the first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to turn rotate map with player off and then you're going to go to mini map size. You're going to put it all the way like to the right, make it the biggest. And you're going to make the minimap zoom either 7 or 8, 0.7 or 0.8. What this basically does is it lets you see the entire map no matter where you are. And if you've noticed like the default settings, if you're like, you know, when you're like at the start of the game, when you're like in the buy round, whatever you're like on the attacker side on the scent, for example, it doesn't let you see like the defender side. But this does. And the benefit of this is basically like if your teammates on the other side of the map and they're like in a fight with somebody, and the enemy like logo pops up on the map you'll be able to see it now so you'll be able to know who they're like playing and etc this is overall very a good setting to change and yeah so content filter you can you know you can uh, leave that go to privacy i would just turn allow crossplay on or off other i would either make the enemy highlight color purple or red honestly i like purple because you could purple or yellow the dutch uh, nopia one because you can see the enemies like they're more brighter and i honestly like that better because it just shows uh this is overall better for me because i feel like the, it's a more easier to see the player and then you can also go to controls go to uh button so you can change like uh the oh, let me just find it uh right here you can change the go to general go to toggle let's see oops controls overview you can change like the different settings so like bumper jumper tactical bumper jumper etc i like bumper jumper tacticals that's what you see using call of duty as well and rebirth etc so you can use that as well uh, right here so you got to click r3 on your controller and then you can change it to bumper jumper or shooter etc i like this because in my opinion this was best for me in cod especially in like rebirth ranked so you can also do this for uh, Valorant as well, but the default one is just as fine. You don't have to like force yourself to use it. And yeah, you can, okay, so for the aim, so the higher the sensitivity, the better your movement will be most likely, but the lower the sensitivity, the better your aim will be. So just keep that in mind. And maybe you can like go right in the middle, like eight or 10. So that's like perfect mix of both. So I would do that as well. And yeah, so for the dead zone, the higher it is, basically the dead zone is just like your stick drift so if you have a lot of stick drift for like your right or left r3 or l3 just make sure to just put that all the way up but you don't have to do that that's not like something that's like you know, uh, mandatory and yeah so overall that's it you can change the music volume make sure the music volume is all the way down make sure you put the sound effects and the overall volume all the way up and you can also put the voiceover volume down as well this is because sound effects is going to be like the footsteps so you can hear enemies better and overall is obviously going to help with that as well so you can do that as well and i'm not actually sure what video volume is so i would just leave that or i wouldn't really turn it off but i would just leave that and yeah so that should be it honestly that should be everything so that is it for the video thank you guys for watching make sure to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and have a great day